Yesterday, we covered a story about the Westboro Baptist Church, better known as the God Hates Fags people. They walk around with those signs. They had the signs that said, you know, God wanted 9-11 to happen and all this stuff that just basically offends <laughs> anybody with a pulse. Well, uh, they saw the segment that we did yesterday where we talked about them, about how they're protesting Paul Walker's funeral, and they reached out to me on Twitter. The Westboro Baptist Church reached out to me on Twitter, and they said, hey, here is why we're protesting Paul Walker, since you asked the question in the video. Uh, and here, I have a little piece of it. Take a listen. The whole world is mad over Paul Walker's recent death and the helicopter crash in Glasgow, Scotland. Paul Walker was the Hollywood movie star and so-called good guy, philanthropist, and star of the Fast and Furious street racing movies. Mr. Walker was also a world-class fornicator and a teacher of evil things. Galatians 5, 19 to 21 says that unrepentant fornicators shall not inherit the kingdom of God. <laughs> An unrepentant fornicator. That sounds like a compliment to me. He, oh, a world-class fornicator. What, are they handing out medals? <laughs> that sounds like an awesome weekend, by the way. I was a world-class fornicator this weekend, I must say. <laughs> it's, it sounds like an Olympic sport, right? Like, yeah, we got uh, curling over here, the luge over here, world-class fornication over there. Uh, and I love, oh, he's a teacher of bad things. Care to get specific? <laughs> bad things. Bad as in what? Probably what they think is bad, I think is fantastic. But anyway, putting all that stuff aside, and the clip goes on and on and on where they give a thousand reasons why, you know, everybody deserves to get killed and uh, your mother get fucked in the ass and et cetera, et cetera. I won't, I won't get into that. But uh, as a response to what they said, I invited them on the show. I said, hey, man, look, you know, here's my position on it. Paul Walker never said anything about abortion as far as I know, never said anything about gay marriage as far as I know. Those are your two main concerns, right? You're Bible fundamentalists and literalists. And this guy's an actor. Like, why? Why are you protesting him, right? So I said, here's my position. Uh, everybody knows your position. If you really believe it, if you truly believe what you're saying, and you're willing to back it up in public, right, not just scream at people at a funeral, if you really wanted to get broadcasted out to a lot of people, look, we got over 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. We got anywhere between 300 and 1,000 people that, you know, listen to any of the radio shows on, on any given day, right? Not to mention usually over a thousand uh, per YouTube video clip, right? These are you're having. There's a large audience here. You can get your message out. So why not come on? I'm not. I won't berate you. I won't. You know, yell at you. We'll, we'll have a conversation. We'll have a discussion about where you stand, what you believe, and why. And then we'll we'll work it out from there. So here's what I'm proposing. Now, they didn't respond. Hmm, weird. They seem so arrogant and strong in their beliefs that they're sure they're correct and they're right. But the second I push back a little bit, what happened? Crickets. I don't hear you anymore, guys. What happened? Oh, you're continuing to tweet all these different things, but you didn't respond when I invited you on the show. Not, not a response at all. Not even to say, hey, look, man, we would, but yada, yada, we're not going to do it. Nothing. No response at all. So I, I thought you guys really believe what you were talking about. If you do, I mean, it's, it's kind of pathetic that you don't want to actually you know, air it out in front of a larger audience. So here's the thing. I want everybody who's listening to the show right now, if you have Twitter, tweet the Westboro Baptist Church and tell them, look, be nice. You don't have to scare them away and like berate them, okay? Just tell them, uh, hey, come on Kyle's radio show if you really believe what you're saying and just have a conversation about it. And our, my goal here is we'll keep doing this until they admit to come on, until they want to come on. And uh, it's at WBC says. So it's at WBC S A Y S. So go ahead, tweet them, let them know, and we'll just keep doing this until a representative from the church wants to come on and have this conversation about why Paul Walker is such a bad guy and you should protest him and why he should be in heaven. And we'll bring up other things too in the interview. We'll talk about religion in general and the Bible and all that fun stuff. So let's get on it. Let's get this done, man.